What's up guys, White Lighting here, and I got some exciting footage for you guys. As you can see, I'm not using a ghetto setup filming my iPad screen with my phone. I've actually got a legitimate recorder, uh, thanks to Shaner. I will post the link to his YouTube in the description. I got this new software, and it's great, and I paid 13 bucks for it, which is not bad. And I'll put the link to where you can buy it as well in the description. So uh, that's what's new, and that's pretty exciting because now I'm going to have some better quality gameplay, and I'm going to actually look like a real commentator. Oh, my God. No. So I'm going to do a new series uh, for the next week and a half called Road to Master. And so basically Trophy Push has started. Well, nah. Trophy Push starts in three days, but I'm pre-pushing because I kind of want to hit Master 2 again this push. Uh, that would be cool. So what I'm doing is that basically I'm just kind of experimenting with different rating strategies. And right now I'm using what I used a while ago to get back to Master is I got the Dragons and then Hogs going. So I'm going to show a couple replays. Keep this video a little bit short for now, but uh, and then I'll get some other videos up next week. I'll try to get a lot up, actually. So um, this is basically what I'm doing. Is uh, I was originally doing hogs and then farming, and uh, farming setup. That's only because I was lower in trophies and the raids were easy. Now I'm up in uh, Crystal Two, raids are getting they're still easy, but the, you know there's a couple tough ones. So what I'm gonna do from now on is I'm gonna use hog raid, like right right there, and then I'm going to dragon and then hog and then dragon. So let me show let me show you guys this one. And I'll tell you kind of the training strategy. So as you can see, this base is really weak. There's no clan castle troops, and there's no uh, heroes, so I can just deploy straight down on the bottom. And I wait a minute to put that heal in, because you always want to put it in where splash damage is going to be, because splash damage really does uh, does numbers on your hogs, man. Take them out. So then this base is extremely low leveled, so the hogs just kind of ran through it, no problem. And uh, again, put your heal spells where splash will be, and also uh, where expos are. If the expos are near the splash, you definitely want to put a heal spell there because expos take forever to destroy. So if you can get a heal spell near that expo or inferno tower, that'd be great because they take a while to destroy. So then I just put in all my wall breakers and wizards at the bottom. Well, not all the wizards, but you know most of my wizards. And I think with yeah, with this one instead of using a, like. Um, all 12 wizards, I used, I think I used 8 wizards and then a bunch of archers and, yeah, archers and barbs. And because, you know, again, I'm in the lower trophy level, so bases obviously aren't that hard to raid in this trophy range, so I'm using cheaper and faster troops. So I just used 8 wizards instead of 12, and, yeah, barbs and archers. So all the defenses are out, I'll just speed it up. They just tear through this base, taking it all out. So that was a good raid. It uh, pretty good in loot. 200k gold, 400k elixir, 1300 dark elixir, 27 trophies. It wasn't bad. And then now let me show you a dragon raid. Now basically what I'm doing with the dragon raids is I'm being a big bully and picking on every town hall 8 I see. And I feel kind of like an asshole when I do that because, you know, I'm a town hall 8 myself trying to get up high in trophies and then I'm kind of preventing other town hall 8s. But, you know, we're not going to think of it that way because that's messed up. All right, so, oh, this was in a town hall. This is just kind of, basically, I look for when I raid with dragons. Whenever I raid with hogs, I look for dead bases. And whenever I raid with dragons, I look for weak people and basically people who aren't going to revenge me. Because at this trophy level, if somebody were to revenge me, then I would lose, like, 40-plus trophies on defense if they, like, 100 me, which would be terrible. So I try not to, ta I never town hall snipe at this trophy level, and I try not to raid people who can possibly revenge me. Because, you know, if they do revenge me, and if they succeed, then I'm in trouble. I, if they actually, like, you know, 100 my base. So I always try to make sure that, I, you know, I'm not going to get raped on defense, and I'm not going to lose a ton of trophies, because I'm already going to lose a bunch of trophies as is, since I'm town hall 8, and in master, there's not a lot of town hall 8s. And so as you can see, I'm just kind of using my minions, which are level 4, to pick off surrounding buildings and take off the Archer Queen so my dragons don't have an issue. And I didn't think I'd 2-star this at first just because, I don't know, I don't have a lot of faith in my level 2 dragons. But uh, I did get the 2-star. Let me speed this up. So 
So then I put in the dragon with a couple minions up top just to take out the, uh, the town hall. And then I put the rest of my dragons up top left. And then they just go to work, pick this base part. Uh, I get what, like 60 something percent, so I did pretty good. And I'm currently getting my dragons at 3 right now, which I'm pretty excited about because level 3 dragons are pretty awesome compared to level 2, so definitely excited waiting on that. So yep, got the 2 star, got 15 trophies, I think, something like that, which isn't terrible. Yeah, 15. Okay guys, that's the strategy I use pretty much. All I do is just dragon raid, then hog raid. So, um... And then I explained this in uh, my first video about getting master at Town Hall 8. Basically, you just train up three heal spells. Then you go Dragon Raid. And then when you come back, two heal spells should be made. And then you Hog Raid. So that made no sense if you don't know what I'm talking about. So uh, heal spells take an hour and a half to make all three of them. And your Dragon Army takes an hour to train. And then the uh, Hog Army takes about 30, 35 minutes to train. So what you do is that you um, you put three heal spells, put three heal spells in, and then you put your you make your dragon army, which is eight dragons, so two dragons in each barrack, and then twenty minions, which is ten minions in each barrack. And what you do is that after that takes an hour to train, and after that one hour, and obviously you know if you don't want to wait an hour to to raid, you can do something other than dragons. But this is what I use to get up in trophies. So after that hour, you go and raid, but before you go and raid, you um, train your hogs and your wizards, and you let those cook while you're raiding so that they're already, like, pre-made by the time you get back. And then when you come back and you wait another, like, half an hour, and your three heal spells are ready, and then your hog army's ready, you're going to cook up the dragons. So you're going to put some dragons in the uh, barracks and get them cooking so that by the time you get back, they're ready. And then, so when you come back an hour later, you'll have two heal spells ready and your dragons... And then you cook up your hogs, and then you come back with the three heal spells. So it's basically just an ongoing circle, and it um, it's really effective if you're willing to wait that long and stay online. But uh, and that's you know that's kind of how you got to get to master with patience and a lot of play time and good raids. So uh, again, I'm gonna keep this video short. So that was about it. I want to talk about today. I'm gonna get a lot more uploads up in this uh, in this next week. Oh, and uh, let me give a little bit of shout outs right now. Actually, let me give one. Give one big shout out. So for the shout out, I'm gonna go to the Mist, which is our feeder clan, and it is right here. And that's the Mist, as you can see, 17,000 trophies. It's not a bad clan. If you guys want to join up on the Mist, there are the requirements, and you can go join there. If you want to eventually come in the fog and kick some ass with us, that'd be great. We're looking forward to it. So, uh, oh, and a big shout out, big shout out to Anith. This is my boy, level 118. He's got a bunch of donations because he donates like a whore. And um, he's got 378 million gold grab, which is insane for people who don't know that. Uh, his trophy record is 28-23. It's good, but it's not bad. Nah, I'm playing. It's, um, that's pretty good. That's Master 2, dude. High five. Congrats to him. I know he's going to beat at this trophy push, because if he doesn't and I beat him again, then uh, there's going to be some hell to pay. Nah, I'm playing. I'll just probably brag for, like, a week in his face until he's like, fuck you, white, and then, you know, kicks him out of the clan. No, that's not going to happen. But, uh, yeah, he's a beast. Uh, I didn't look at his base. If you want to see it, then you can look into some of my previous videos because I always shout him out. It's uh, I've got to shout him out every video. It's part of my contract. And, yes, I have a contract because uh, that's how we do. So that's about it for uh, this video, guys. Uh, look forward to the higher definition f actual gameplay, not me filming my iPad. So, um yeah, definitely excited about that. And uh, that's it, guys. Peace. I'm passing notes to all the pretty girls in class. Still, they never reply, but never say never. They never get caught on my mind. I'm trying to get better and grind. Measure my effort and skill gets better in time. Fresher than ever, and I am who I am. No taking it back, I'm alive and well. Well, what it do? My name is unimportant. But what I say is quite amazing. I hope you enjoy it. I put my soul into this shit every time I'm recording. Just so I can show you what I...